So when iOS 17 came out, one of the weirdest things happened. We all know this by now, Apple ended up dropping support for the iPhone 10, iPhone 8, and iPhone 8 Plus. But some of you probably forgot that last year, Apple went through and dropped support of two other, actually three other generation of iPhones, the iPhone 6S, 7, and the iPhone SE first generation. Now, the reason why this is so crazy and why this impacts the iPhone 11 so much is that just last year, in May of 2022, not that long ago, Apple pretty much went through and they were giving us, I mean, we had so many iPhones that were still supported with software, the 6S, 7, the 8, and then the iPhone 10R and 11 were basically, what, fourth and fifth in place to actually get unsupported with software. The iPhone 11 was fifth in place to get, you know, drop support. Within basically almost one year and one month, the iPhone 11 went from fifth in place of getting drop support to now being second in place. The only iPhone below it is the iPhone XR. That is crazy. That is how insane, how fast, you know, the software support on these types of devices can actually just go down. And it is very, very concerning because when we actually think about the future of iPhones, I don't feel comfortable. Like I don't want to go ahead and just buy an iPhone that I know can probably go from fifth in place to second in place within a year span. That is actually something that is very, very you know tough to understand for a lot of people, especially for those of you who plan on keeping your phones for a longer period of time. Apple's support is so inconsistent in terms of which devices they're keeping, at least with some other manufacturers, at least with Samsung, you know that you know which device is probably going to get supported at what time. With the iPhones, it's tough. Sometimes Apple keeps an iPhone for so many years like the iPhone success, but then they end up dropping an iPhone kind of early like the iPhone 10. And now that the iPhone 10 R is last in place, is Apple going to go ahead and drop support of the iPhone XR next year? And then the iPhone 11 is going to be pretty much last in place of getting software support. And then maybe the iPhone 11 will end up getting another two years of software support, like who knows? But I'm not too sure what Apple's going to be doing here. And it's actually kind of sad news for the iPhone 11, because if Apple continues dropping an iPhone every single year, the iPhone 11 realistically only has like two years of software left. It's going to be remaining on iOS 17, and if the 10R gets drop support, then it's going to be on iOS 18, and then it's going to stop. I have a hard time believing that's what Apple's going to be doing, but that's what they've only been doing for the last two iOS versions now. They dropped iPhone 6s and iPhone 7 last year, and they dropped iPhone 8, 8 Plus, and iPhone 10 this year. So I guess we're going to have to wait and see what happens. I would still keep your iPhone 11s. They're not going anywhere, at least for the next two years. But it is honestly a very, very sad thing whenever we get iPhones like this that were so high up the totem pole, and now they're like just falling like so crazy. So I'd love to hear your thoughts about this. Let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, not me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, so done.